Now, interesting thing about this square piece of shortbread. Now, it did not appear until the 1980s during the release of the popular song It's Hip to be Square by Huey Lewis and the News because everyone was being square at the time and it was such a big deal. Now, we interrupt your daytime viewing to report to you that unfortunately Cape Ness is under attack by zombies. Please stay in your homes, lock your doors and board your windows. We are going live to Professor Tiffany who is currently at the scene of a horrific attack on Mabel Smith, a frail elderly woman. Professor Tiffany, are you there? Yes, thank you Kate. I am here with Laura, the granddaughter of Mabel Smith, the first known zombie victim. Laura, can you tell us what you saw? Shakespeare's four plays, one woman. Crack it. She will do. And, uh, you two, you will have to do. They are the same technicians. I am not sure they're experienced in this. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Now, I'm going to go through some different scenarios and how one can defeat the zombies. If the actors could gather, please. Uh, I'm not an actor. Uh, what's going on? Make way, I need to warm up. Method one, trick the zombies. Bring. Alright, you're gonna mess with a zombie, just like you to pick a card, any card. Uh. No! Please, let me. I'm so terrified, the zombie's going to destroy us. But wait, I have a trick. If I drink this potion, he'll think I'm dead. <coughs> <coughs> Ta da! I wonder where she got that idea from. Hmm, yes, well, not quite what I meant, but moving on. Method 2 Overwhelming Firepower. Firepower. You're a zombie! Oh I sorry about that. Uh, what I meant was I broke into Dunry and stole this iron gravity cannon. What does it do? Well, Macbeth. My name's George. Roll with me. With a little um sprinkle of this watering can, we'll destroy all zombies and then we'll become powerful like we always wanted to be. I think this is mine actually. Hey, this is my seat. Now, 
What are the odds of finding a secret stash of experimental weapons the government hasn't been telling us about? Pretty slim. Hence method three. Kung Fu. I'm really not sure that's going to work. It wouldn't work. It's Kung Fu. I was thinking maybe yoga would be a better option. You know, chill the zombies out. No! Kung Fu! Alright, uh... Now, physical combat is not recommended if you have a heart condition, are taking blood pressure medication, or if you're a bleeder. So I present to you method four. Romance the zombies. Zombie, oh zombie. Where for art thou, zombie? I'm right here. What big eyes you have, zombie? Oh, brains. What beautiful teeth you have, zombie. Brains. Will you be my Romeo? Uh. Will you be my... You tell all the boys... Well, tune in George, who'd have thought? I mean, yes, well that was more successful than I thought. I didn't think zombies had brains. You don't need brains to fall in love. And now for method five, leave the planet. Six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Well, thank you to our actors for their demonstrations and a massive thank you to Professor Tiffany I myself feel much safer and now feel fully equipped to take on a zombie? <laughs> yes, well, thank you, Kate. With my years of experience and wealth of knowledge, I too feel more capable to take on the upcoming zombie. Oh dear. Method 6 run very fast.